Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this tutorial series, we are designing this portfolio website from scratch using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. In the previous video, we started writing the HTML and uh, if you go to our website, this is how it looks. We have written the HTML of our hero section. Now in this video, we will add some CSS and make it look like this. So let's get started. <laughs> Right here I'm in my source code and uh, here we have linked our styler CSS file in the head section of the HTML. So let's start by writing the CSS. So let's go to the styler CSS file and the first thing we will do is we will create some CSS variables for the colors. So let's type colon root and uh, this will be accessible throughout our website. So here let's type hyphen hyphen and let's call it dark color. And for this color let's add a hex code of 05070A and then for the accent color let's set the color to 586 3F8 and let's add one more color for this yellow color that you see over here and let's call it highlight color. So let's tap highlight color and let's add the hex code of FCFF3B. So we have added all the colors that we needed for the website and now let's go ahead and add some reset styles. So let's tap asterisk and let's also select the after and before selectors of all the elements and let's set the padding to zero and uh, let's also set the margin to zero and let's also type box sizing border box so that we have the correct width and height for all the elements. And now the next thing we will do is uh, we will target the HTML and we'll set the font size of all the elements. So if you go to the HTML file, here we can see that we have already added the links of the fonts. So here let's type font family and let's set it to enter. So this will be the default font of our website. So if you go to our browser, here we can see that all the font has changed to enter. Right now let's target all the paragraphs. So let's type P and we will add a higher line height for all this paragraph. So let's tap line height and let's set it to 1.9 and let's set the font size of all the paragraph to one rim and uh, this is how it looks. Now let's go ahead and add a background color to the body. So let's type body. So I just add it over here and uh, here let's tap background color and let's set the color to var dark color that we created over here. So now we can see that we have this dark background color for our website. All right, now let's go ahead and target all the anchor tags, which are the links. And let's set the color of all the anchor tags to white. And let's also remove the underline. So let's tap text decoration to none. So now we can see all these anchor tags have white color. And uh, we also don't have any underlines for the anchor tags. All right now the next thing we will do is we will add a max width for the wrapper. So if you go to the HTML file, here we can see that we have created this division with the class of wrapper. That's because uh, we wanted to have a max width added to all the elements. So here we can see that we have this max width and uh, even if we zoom out, the content will have this max width that you see over here. So for that we have added this wrapper division. So let's target that and here let's have dot wrapper and let's set the max width to 75 rems, which is 1200 pixels. And let's also add a padding of 1.5 rem. And uh, if we add a background color, we can see the actual max width. So this is how the max width looks. We have a max width of 1200 pixels over here. And we need to bring it to the center. So for that, let's tap margin inline and let's set it to auto. And now we can see that the wrapper is in the center. And let's go ahead and remove this uh, background color of red from here. Now let's also add some styles to the button. So we have the button in multiple places. So let's go ahead and style the button and make it look like this. So for the button, we have a class and let's take a look at the class. So here we can see we have a class of BTN. So let's target that. Let's tap dot BTN. And let's set the display to inline block so that uh, if we add margin top or uh, padding top or bottom, it should be added to the button because the button is basically an anchor tag over here and it is display of inline by default. So we need to add this margin of inline block and uh, let's set the background color to white. And here we can see we have the button. Let's also change the color of the text to the dark color. So let's have var dark color. 
and let's set the font size to one rem and font weight to 700. Let's also set text transform to uppercase. Now let's also add some padding. So let's type padding and let's set it to 0 0.75 rem. Now we need to have this text and this icon centered. So for that, let's go ahead and change this to inline flex. And uh, let's set the align items to the center. And we have a little bit of uh, spacing issue for this icon. So let's target the icon. And the icon is inside the span with the class of icon inside the button. So let's type btn icon. And here we need to type display of flex and it will solve the issue. Now we need to have some gap between the text and this icon. So here for the button, let's type gap. And let's set the gap to 0 0.5 rem. Now when we hover over this button, we'll just have some basic animation. So let's go ahead and type btn colon hover. And we'll just bring it up. So let's type transform, translate y. And uh, I'll just set it to negative 3 pixels. And here on the button, let's add a transition of all 300 milliseconds ease. And now if you hover over this, we can see that we have this uh, hover animation. All right, now the next thing we will do is we will style this uh, nav bar. So if you go to the HTML file, here we have this uh, nav element and in that we have the logo and we also have this menu items. So let's style this. Let's go ahead and uh, add a comment. I'll just tap nav bar. And here let's tap nav. And let's set the display to flex and uh, we need to have this logo on the extreme left side and these menu items on the right side. So we need to type justify content space between and let's also type align items to the center. All right, now let's style this logo. So for the logo, we have a class of logo. So let's go ahead and type dot logo. And uh, let's set the font size to 1.5 rem. Let's set the text transform to uppercase. And let's set a letter spacing of 0 0.125 rem, which is uh, two pixels. And this is how it looks. Now here we can see we have this dot and if we go to our design, this dot has a different font size. So for that, let's go back over here and in the HTML file, we can see that we have added a span with a class of dot. So let's target that in that we have this uh, dot displayed. So let's go ahead and type logo dot and let's set the font size to 3.75 rem and let's set the color to var accent color. And this is how it looks. Let's also set the line height to zero. So now everything looks all right. Now let's also style these menu items. So here let's go ahead and type nav menu items. And let's set the display to flex and let's add a gap of 3.75 rem. And let's tap text transform to uppercase. Now when we hover over these anchor tags, we need to change the color. So let's go ahead and type nav menu items a colon hover and when you hover over this let's type color var accent color and let's add a smooth transition so let's tap nav menu items a and let's tap transition of all 300 milliseconds is so now we can see we have this hover effect and with that we have styled the nav bar of our website all right now let's start with the design of the hero section so Let's go back to our source code. And uh, here we can see we have this header with the class of hero. So let's target that. I just create a comment. I'll just type hero section. And here I type dot hero. And first of all, let's set the color of all the text to white. So let's type color white. And uh, we'll also set a margin top over here. So if you go to our design, here we can see that we have this margin from the top. So let's add a margin top. So just type margin top. And let's set it to 6.25 rem. And now we can see we have this margin top. All right now let's go ahead and style this image. So if you go back to the HTML file here, we have this uh, IMG tag with the class of hero image. So let's target this. It is inside the hero. So let's tap hero, hero image. And first of all, let's set the position to absolute so that uh, it is displayed according to our specific position. And uh, let's set the top value to minus 10 rem. And we'll also set a height and width. So let's type height and let's set the height to 
43.75 rems and uh, this is how it looks and from the left we will have a value of 27.5 rem now this image should be positioned relative to the hero so that's why here in the hero we need to type position relative and now we can say that the image is in the correct place now we want this image to be behind the other elements so here for the image let's type z index and let's set it to negative 2 and let's also add an opacity of 0. let's try 0. 0.8 and now if you go back to our uh, html file here we can see that we also have this division of the class of image overlay and if you go to our design here we can see that the image starts from this dark color and goes to the color of the image so for that let's target the image overlay that we have over here so let's tap hero image overlay and we need to have most of these uh, properties from here so let's copy all of this and let's paste it down here and uh, for the left value let's set it to 0 rem and uh, let's add a z index of negative 1 so this image overlay will be on top of the hero image and we'll also set the width to 50 rems and now if we add a background color we can see that this is the image overlay now we need to have a linear gradient background color so here let's type linear gradient and let's tap 2 right and for the left color let's type var of dark color and uh, let's set it to 60 percent and then let's type transparent and now if you go back here we can see that this image starts from this dark color and goes to this color of the image and i think we can decrease the opacity a little bit more so let's go back and here for the image let's set the opacity to 0.6 Oh, now let's go ahead and style this uh, social icons over here so let's type hero and uh, if you go to the html file we have this division of the class of socials so let's type socials and let's set the display to flex so that they are one next to the other and let's add a gap of 1.5 rem and let's set a margin bottom of 1 rem and uh, let's change the size of these images so let's type hero socials img and let's set the width to 2.5 rem right now let's style these headings so let's go ahead and type hero and for the headings we have this h1 so let's target the h1 and let's set the font family to the philosopher font and uh, let's type sans serif for the backup font and uh, now we can see we have the philosopher font added let's also set the font size to 8.8 75 rem and let's set the text transform to uppercase and uh, let's set the line height to 1 let's also add a margin bottom so that we have some space between this paragraph and this uh, heading so let's tap margin bottom and let's set it to 1.5 rem right now for this minimal text we need to have a different color so here we can see we have this uh, accent color so for that let's go back and uh, here we have already added this uh, variable called accent color and if you go to the html file here we can see that for the accent color we have this span with the class of blue text so let's target this I'll just type blue text and let's set the color to var accent color and now we can see we have the correct color for this heading or right, let's scroll down and uh, we have this paragraph over here and for the button we need to have a margin top so let's go back to our CSS and uh, here for the button we have added some styles so let's also add margin block which is margin top and bottom and let's set the value to 2.25 rem which is 36 pixels and this is how the button looks right now let's style this uh, achievement section over here so if we go to the HTML file here we can see that we have this uh, division with the class of achievements and uh, we need to position it on the right side over here so let's go ahead and target the achievements division and here let's type hero achievements and first of all we need to set the position to absolute and we need to position it to the right side over here so let's type right of zero and now we can see that it is on the right side and we also need to bring it to the top a little bit so let's type top and let's set the value to 17.5 rem Alright, let's set a background color of RGBA 0, 0, 0 and 0 0.7 and let's set a height and a width for this 
so let's tap height and let's set it to 41.25 rem let's set the width to 28.75 rem and we also need to add some padding so let's tap padding and let's set the padding to 2.5 rem now let's add a little bit of border to this so let's tap border and uh, let's set the value to 4 pixels solid and for the color let's tap RGBA 255, 255, 255 and 0 0.05 for the opacity and this background should be blurred so for that let's go ahead and type backdrop filter and let's set the value to blur 0 0.125 rem and now we can say that the background is blurred all right now let's set the display to flex and let's add some gap between these so let's tap display of flex and uh, let's set the flex direction to column and let's add a gap of 2 rem and uh, we need to also bring it to the center vertically so let's tap justify content center and now we can see it is in the center all right now let's style the elements inside this so first of all let's style the s3 so for the s3 we need to increase the font size a little bit so here we can see we have s3 for all these achievements so here let's type hero achievements s3 and let's set the font size to 1.5 rem and let's set the font size for the paragraph so below the s3 we have paragraph so let's tap hero achievements p and let's set the font size to 1.125 rem and let's add a margin top of 0.5 rem right now we need to add this uh, bullet on the left side for each of these achievements and we will use before selector for that so let's go ahead and uh, type hero achievement colon colon before so here we can see we have this achievement class inside this achievements class so here we need to add a content and for example if i just type one two three here we can see if we go to our website before all our achievement we have one two three displayed now we need to remove this content and we need to add a square so let's set the height of the square to 10 pixels and let's set the width to 10 pixels as well and uh, let's set the background color to var highlight color that we created as a variable now this before selector should be positioned relative to the achievement so let's tap hero achievement and let's set the position to relative and uh, here let's set the position to absolute and let's set the top value to 0 0.75 rem and let's set the left value to negative 2 rem so here we can see we have this uh, yellow bullet now we need to bring all of this to the right side a little bit so here for the achievement let's add a margin left of 3.125 rem and this is how it looks so with that we have styled our hero section of our website so that's basically it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day Oh, 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 oh,